What's up guys, Derek with Sundown Unofficial here, and today I'm going to attempt to explain some wiring basics in car audio. We have uh, on display here as props our new Salt One amplifier coming in stock very soon, and our tiny, cute, just adorable little SA 6.5 subwoofer. Now, the SA 6.5 subwoofer we got here is representative of a dual voice coil subwoofer. So you have one voice coil set of terminals here, and on the opposite side, another voice coil set of terminals. This is a dual 2 ohm subwoofer. So the voice coil has dual, as in it has two. Dual stands for two. It has two voice coils with a 2 ohm impedance each. Now this is what happens, and bear with me as I, I go through the slow process to try and be detailed. So I got two pieces of wire, and I'm going to walk you through this step by step. We're going to connect this wire to one voice coil. As you can see here, I'm just going to plug them right on in. So now the end of that wire, so now this here is a 2 ohm load on that piece of wire. We're going to spin it around to the other voice coil. The other voice coil is also 2 ohm. We're going to plug our wire in. Oh. So now we have our dual voice coil subwoofer here with our speaker wires hooked up. So those dual, aka two, we have two two ohm loads. Now this amplifier is a mono block amplifier. So that means it only has one channel of output. And when I say one channel of output, that means one audio channel. So there's one audio signal of output coming out of this amplifier through its out output terminals here. Now it does have dual sets of eight gauge output terminals. So you're gonna have two negatives and two positives. These are what's called uh, ran in parallel. So it doesn't matter if you connect to this negative or that positive, they're, like, they're internally synced, internally hooked together. So they're actually, this, this negative is the same output and this is the same output. You just have, as far as, especially as far as the channel, you just have two of them for easier installation. So when hooking a single subwoofer up to your amplifier, and I'm, I'm trying to go the, the long way to fully demonstrate, We'll undo our terminals here, and I'll explain it as we go, how our impedance, and our, our impedance aka our ohm load changes. So I got my speaker wire coming from one of my voice coils here, so that means there's a two ohm load at this wire. So when I plug it in here to our outputs, and I'm going to tighten them down real quick. So now, our amplifier is seeing a 2 ohm load because it is hooked up to a single voice coil at 2 ohm. We then take our other voice coil, which is also a 2 ohm load. We're going to wire it up. And again, I'm doing it the long way just to be extremely detailed and representative of what you're going to do in your own install. So I'm going to wire this thing up. And now we're connected to the amplifier. We'll make sure we have all the wire, everything in frame here. So we have our subwoofer that has two voice coils. Each one is a two ohm load. That wire runs to our amplifier. And even though we have two sets outputs, keep in mind there's still only one channel, but it's in one audio signal. It's going to be a mono signal coming out. These, even though they're connected all their own, the negatives are actually internally run in parallel. Parallel means uh, run together. And the positives are internally run in parallel. So these these are actually the same, out, same outputs. There's just multiple pieces to add extra wire. So now when you do this, so this is called a parallel wiring. We've taken our two ohm load and our two ohm load and we've ran them in parallel. That's positive to positive, negative to negative. These are internally connected. You're going to basically cut your impedance in half. Now the specific math means we take our impedance per voice coil, which is two ohms, and we take how many voice coils we're wiring in parallel together, two and two, and you're gonna divide that, two divided by two equals one. We are now at a one ohm load here in our amp, and that is the lowest, safe, safest impedance that our amp is capable of. Now, if you wanna know what voice coil your subwoofer has, check out what, what the model number is, should usually have that in there, or check your owner's manual, something like that. Same for amplifiers as far as what's the lowest rated impedance it can safely operate at. For our model block amplifiers, it is one ohm, for our, this subwoofer, it is a dual two. We offer subwoofers in dual one, dual two, dual four. Depends on what model, 
and uh, what voice call symbol for you get. But this is the proper way to wire up a single dual 2 ohm subwoofer to a single amplifier with multiple outputs and get that 1 ohm low.